Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to be editing this image of my daughter dancing by this really cool bridge, not a care in the world, at golden hour. So it was very, very pretty light. Um, she did turn out a little bit dark, as you can see in the before, but it wasn't too bad to where we couldn't um, do some editing and bring some life back to her. So this is the before, here's the after, before and where we will finish. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is run the Storyville image base. And because this image is already dark enough, I do not want any more darkness added to it, so I am going to turn off the darkened edges, and I need to brighten this way up. So we're going to go at 100%. There's still some areas that I feel are lacking a little bit of the light, so I'm going to duplicate this brighten up, command J, and invert it. That would be command I, and take a soft white brush at 100% opacity, kind of hit some areas where the light is kind of bouncing off there. We'll turn that down a little bit. Good. Okay, so as you can see, this is the before and after. Very subtle, but it made a huge difference. Um, next, because it is kind of, it does have some harsh light in there, and I want to make this more of a dreamy looking image. So I'm going to run this uh, Storyville Creamy Matte. Make sure you are clicked on the background layer, guys, or have completely flattened your image, or this will not work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So as you can see, this action brought a really creamy, dreamy appearance to this image, but the subject has lost focus. So I'm going to come down here to the creamy matte base, click on the mask, select a black brush at 100% opacity, and I am going to blow it up just enough to cover her. Click on that. There. And she came back to life. And that looks good. Uh, looks like the sprite in the shadow is just a little too much for this image, so I'm going to crank that down a little bit. And that looks good to me. Let's see, contrast. Turn that down just a little bit. Highlights, I kind of want to brighten those up a teeny bit. There we go. And I think the color dazzle is a little bit too bright here. Okay, that looks good. And click on this, guys. Make sure that the light is over the subject. I'll turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so that's the image base. Here's the creamy matte before and after. I think it made a huge impact on this image. I might turn it down a little bit overall. There, that looks good to me. Next, I'm going to go into the image toning. Um, I want to warm up the highlights and cool down the shadows. So I love that combination together. And you see what it did there? It brought a little bit of purple into the shadows and some orange yellow into the highlights. I think that looks really nice. Um, I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. And I like how the shadows look, but I still don't think that she's quite warm enough. So I'm going to go into the Storyville warm up and play that. And that looks pretty good to me. especially at golden hour. I don't mind really warm images when you have the proper sun there to back it up. Now that we have the tones that we want, I want to brighten her skin up a little bit, maybe um, part of this bridge, a little bit more of the rocks. So I'm going to go into the Storyville Retouch and go to Brighten Skin and Eyes, play that. Click on the Brighten Skin, 
with a soft white brush at 100% opacity. I'm going to not just um, paint it on her skin, but I want the light to go all around her. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay, and that looks good to me. Her dress is blown out a little bit, so I'm going to take a black brush and lower that opacity a little bit here and brush a little bit of that off. It captured the the light really nicely in the spin. She was having the time of her life. Okay, that looks good to me. So before, after, that might be a little bit too strong. I'm going to brush some of this off as well. Okay, that looks good to me. So now I want to add more of a sun flare coming off um, over here at the right side. So this is my favorite sun flare to use during golden hour. Copy paste that in there and hit the screen mode, put it off to the side. Pull that out a little bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. It just adds to the overall look of the image. Let's see if we want to tone it down just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, now I think the pillars could use a little bit more dimension. Um, I am going to go to the Dodge and Burn and Normally I like to keep it around 8% for this because we're going to go a little bit more dramatic and we're not going to be on the skin. I'm going to go 15% soft black brush, paint some shadows or shade back into these pillars. Maybe over the rocks a little. There we go. That looks good to me. Now the color of our dress got a little bit washed out here. Um, you can leave it or you can do something about it. I am going to show you a little trick. Uh, go into the Storyville Eye Enhancement. Hit play on that. And then you can go in here and choose any color that you want. I think I'm going to choose the purple. 100% opacity, soft white brush and paint some color back onto her. This was originally blue, but I don't think she'll mind me changing it to purple. If you're doing this for a client, make sure you get really in there so you don't paint um, the background. You stay on her dress, but I'm not gonna get too nitpicky here. Gonna tone that down just a little bit. And I think I kind of want to darken it. So another thing that you can do is hit the curves adjustment, click the down arrow, and this will just affect the dress. Okay, and that looks good to me. Maybe turn this down a little bit more. Okay, so before and after. Okay, guys, I think that does it for this. Um, let me group these together so you can see the before and after, where we started and where we finished. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find these actions at storyfieldphotography.com along with the sun flare. Have a good day.